Alright, so I have one workability claim and three disadvantage claims. My first workability claim is that history shows that the national economy has suffered when taxes were cut on the wealthy. And as my partner stated, um, this would happen if the flat tax were imposed. So um, according to Connect US, just take a look at the tax reforms implemented during Reagan's time. It, it limited taxes on the wealthy on the belief that it would trickle down to the lower income classes. This did partly improve the economy uh, but that system didn't last just four years, and the U.S. diverted back to the system that re Reaganomics replaced. Um, and also, according to Robert Perry of Consortium News, he reported that Reagan's tax cuts brought a rapid ballooning to the federal debt, which was 900, uh, $934 billion in January 1981 when Reagan took office. And when he departed in January 1989, the debt had jumped to $2.7 which is a three-fold increase. Now, um, under Bush's administration, which continued this trickle-down theory, um, the debt again rose to about $5 trillion. And so when Clinton took office, the new Democratic administration pushed through tax increases. They uh, reduced tax, they increased taxes, and partially reversed the massive tax cuts implemented under Reagan. Finally, the debt problem began to stabilize with the total debt at just $5.7 trillion and heading down. Um, my first disadvantage claim is that the national debt would swell under flat tax. Uh, um, according to John Schoen of the Fiscal Times, Ben Carson, who originally proposed a flat tax of 10% on personal and business income, has recently upped that to 15%. And as CNBC's Becky Quick noted in the October 28th debate, uh, the proposal would leave a roughly $1 trillion hole in the federal budget, an analysis confirmed by Polyfact, a website devoted to fact-checking candidate claims. Um, Rand Paul wants a flat 14.5% uh, tax on personal and business income, and that plan would lose $1.8 billion over the next 10 years. Also, the advocate argued that um, uh, deep uh, losses in revenue would be offset because tax cuts spur growth and create jobs, but uh, that assumption doesn't take into account the larger impact of the federal budget deficit or potential spending cuts on the overall economy. Also, um, government, government programs would be cut um, According to John Irons, policy director at the Economic Policy Institute, because flat tax proposals lower rates at the top, and because the top is where an increasing share of income is being concentrated, they also tend to bring in significantly less revenue than the current tax code, resulting in higher deficits, fewer public investments, and pressure to cut programs like Social Security and Medicare. Um, the widening deficit would almost certainly increase pressure to cut government spending, which would then create a drag on economic growth. Uh, my second disadvantage claim is that flat tax widens the gap between incomes. Um, according to Mark Priester and Aaron Mendelson, data researchers at the Institute for Policy Studies, income disparities have become so pronounced that America's top 10% now average nearly nine times as much income as the bottom 90%. Americans in the top 1% power stunningly higher. They average about 38 times more income than the bottom 90%, but that gap pales in comparison to the divide between the nation's top 0.1% and everyone else. Americans at this lofty level are taking over 184 times the income of the bottom 90%. So according to Robert H. Frank, a professor of economics at the Samuel Curtis uh, Johnson Graduate School of Management at Cornell um, claims that a flat tax would increase inequality by substantially reducing rates on the most prosperous houses while increasing them on low and middle income households. Uh, this uh, kind of income inequality causes social unrest. According to Tim Scanlon, professor of civil polity at Harvard states that uh, 
Economic inequality can undermine the fairness of political institutions if those who hold pol political offices must depend on the large contributions for their campaign. They will be more responsive to the interests and demands of wealthy contributors, and those who are not rich will be fairly, unfairly represented. Uh, so for my last disadvantage claim, um, the advocates claimed that these the flat tax um, under our tax system, lower taxpayers can't pay um, as much on other um, frivolous things because they need more of their money to go to necessities. And um, I agree with this. Uh, the poor have the smallest incomes, disposable incomes and spend higher proportions of their money on basic survival needs. Um, so under a flat tax system, taxes would be raised for the poor who already struggle to pay taxes under the current system. Um, people who are barely getting by, living from paycheck to paycheck, would find it very hard to pay more taxes than they do now. So people who pay a lot more have more uh, reading room. Thank you.